stored in OA. Talked about how to hear Chaitanya Charita. Nectarian pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm. Chaitanya Charita Suno Sradha Bhakti Kari. Master Charya Mukhe Bolo Hari Hari, isn't it? We said yesterday. Mm. With the strong faith, unflinching faith, here Chaitanya Charita Amrita, nectarian pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and give up this Master Jyo Bhav, that means what you say in English? Enviousness. That means someone is making some progress in spiritual path. And don't be intolerant. If someone becomes intolerant, is must master of subhav. That's must subjectivity. We say, don't be intolerant. We say, give up this master. Then chant Hare Krishna. That is stated. Sudha Vaishnav, pure Vaishnav does like that. Rather, he will think that oh, he is making so much advancement, I cannot make an advancement. How can I make advancement? I can get the mercy like that. Um, don't be intolerant. Hey, Kali Kali Ar Nahi Kun Dharma. Vaishnava, Vaishnava, Shastra, Ihi Koya Marma. That we discussed a story. Mm? In this Kali Juga, no other dharma is there. Is Vaishnava dharma, Param dharma, mm? uh, Jaiva dharma, Atma dharma, the dharma of the soul, surrender unto the lotus feet of Krishna, especially surrender unto holy name, Mahaprabhu taught, and Vaishnava Shastra, Based on Sabda Pramana, Veda Pramana, only Banapati Shastra. Mm. So, in Chaitanya Charthamrita, you will find mm, Madhya Lila, mm, 15 chapters, it is Khandavasi Mukunda. Mm. And you know that Khandavasi Mukunda Sarita Gopinata Charya Prabhu. Huh? You don't know? Khandavasi Mukunda. Mukunda Das he lives in this one area named Khanda, in this West Beng Bengal, known as Khandavasi Mukunda. He is a great, very dear devotee of Sriman Chaitra Mahaprabhu. Hmm. He had a son, his name was Raghunandan. Hmm. You know? Raghunandan. Mm. The Raghunandan was also a great devotee, mm. a very dear to Sriman Mahaprabhu. Mm. One Sriman Mahaprabhu, sometimes Mahaprabhu also makes some fun, do you understand, with the devotees. Mm. So once Mahaprabhu asked Mukunda Das, out of form. Ah. Whether you are the father of Raghunandan or Raghunandan was the father of you. Do you understand your father? Who is father and who is the son? Do you understand? In actuality, Raghunandan is the son and Mukunda is the father. But Mahaprabhu made a form. 
he asked out of fun, but there is some deeper meaning in it, in his inquiry, you understand? So whether hmm, your father Raghunandan is son, and Raghunandan is father and you are his son, what is this? You understand? Hmm. So, Mukunda Khandavasi Mukunda said, you see, this is the quality, you understand, of a real Vaishnava. Mukunda kahe raghu nandan mor pita hoi. Amitar putro e amar nishchoy. You understand? Mukunda said, raghu nandan my father, I am his son. You understand? Uh, in actuality, Mukunda is the father, Raghunandan is son. But when Mahaprabhu inquired, he said, Raghunandan is my father, I am his son. Do you understand? <coughs> what is the deeper meaning in it? Uh, can you understand anything? Yeah? Son, by the grace of the Son, the Father could have put me to the mouth of the By the, the grace of the Son, Kuna uh, can come to, come to, uh, come to know uh, Chitana Mahaprabhu. By his Son? Through his Son. Through his Son? How is it? That's huh? How is it? Huh? Does anybody know anything? Why he says like that? You understand? Let's mention that. He says, Amasobar Krishna Bhakti Raghunandan Hoite. Ote Pita Raghunandan Amar Nishite. He said, We have all developed Krishna Bhakti because of Raghunandan. Therefore, Raghunandan is our father. Do you understand? Hmm? And Mahaprabhu was very much pleased hearing this answer. Hmm? It's a good answer. Hmm? Do you understand? From whom one develops Krishna Bhakti, he is really father. Materially or apparently, he may be your son or whatever may be. But if you can develop Krishna Bhakti from your son, then that's his father. So Mukunda said that, that thing. So Mahaprabhu was very much pleased. Mahaprabhu says, Suni Horse Kohe Prabhu Kohile Nishchoy Jahoite Krishna Bhakti Sehi Guru Hoi. Guru is father. You understand? From whom I develop Krishna Bhakti, he is my Guru, he is my father. You understand? Sei se paramo bandho sei pita mata Sri Krishna Charani jai prema bhakti dhata. Chaitana Mangal says, Sagal janmi pita mata sabi paai Krishna Guru nahi mile bhajo hi aai. Isn't it? Hmm? He is our supreme friend, he is our father and mother. Who has given me this Prem Bhakti at the lotus feet of Krishna? You understand? That Guru, spiritual master, is my supreme friend, is my father, is my mother. Because he has given me this Prem Bhakti, lotus feet of Krishna. Sakal Janmi Pitamata Sobe Pai. Krishna Guru Nahimi Lev Hajoi Hiai. In every birth you have father and mother. Isn't it? Otherwise, how can you come to this world without the help of father and mother? Eh? So, you have lakhs and lakhs of lives, so you have lakhs and lakhs of father and mothers. But, such father and mother who gives you Krishna Prem Bhakti, and the Lord of Krishna is very rare. 
isn't it? That is the same. Mahaprabhu said that thing. Jahavite Krishna Bhakti Sri Guru Hoy. From whom we develop Krishna Bhakti? He is our father, he is our guru. Hmm. So one, the bhakta, the devotee should be glorified. And Mahaprabhu was doing that thing. Do you understand? Mahaprabhu was an ideal teacher doing that thing. He, he was always glorifying the devotees. Hmm. Bhaktira Mahima Prabhu kahite pae sukha. Bhaktira Mahima kahite hoi poncha mukha. Do you understand? Yeah? Bhaktir Mahima Prabhu kahite pae sukha. Mahaprabhu gets so much pleased by glorifying the devotee. Bhaktir Mahima kahite hoi poncha mukha. Do you understand? To glorify a devotee, if you want to have five faces, you understand? Mm. So Mukunda Das, Khandavasi Mukunda, was also a great devotee. You understand? Very great devotee. Mm. He was a physician, a Raj Bhidya, in the king's court. You understand? Mm. He was a physician in king's court. This is outward. Mm. But inwardly, internally, he is a great devotee of Krishna. You understand? Great devotee of Krishna. Mm. One incident was there. Mm. One day, uh, Mukunda Das was talking with the king or Barsao. Basai, Mamadan king, Barsa, hmm? uh, about this treatment, Ayurvedic treatment. Hmm. At that time, one servant came with a peacock pen. Do you understand? And the peacock feeder. Huh? And uh, uh, a, an umbrella with peacock feeder. Do you understand? Came with an umbrella with a peacock feather. Do you understand? And he just held it over the head of the Badsha. Mm. As soon as Mukunda saw this peacock feather, eh, he became ecstatic. Do you understand? Varahabhatansa. Immediately he thought of Krishna, the all beautiful Krishna, with the pick up feather in his head, you understand, he became ecstatic, and he was sitting in a chair and immediately fell down on the ground. You understand, he's become so ecstatic mm, and became unconscious. You understand? Then that Bhatsa, the king, thought of, what happened to so our physician? Uh -huh. Why he became unconscious? Mm. Then that Basa himself got up from his seat and found him and got back his consciousness. Mm. Then Basa asked him, What happened to you? Why did you fall down from your seat? Eh? You understand? Mukundadas said, uh, he said, oh, nothing had happened to me. I am a light. Mm. Then Basa asked, why did you fall down from this from your seat? Then Nakunda said, I had a disease. Sometimes my head reels. I had a disease. Mm. Sometimes it happens to me. So I fell down. You need not worry about it. You understand? Because the true fact is that he, as soon as he saw the peak of Kiva, he became ecstatic, thought of Krishna. Ah, so he became unconscious and fell down. Mm. But he didn't disclose it. You understand? No, this should not be disclosed. This is the most confidential thing. 
you understand in confidential matters one is always silent silent you understand it is inner thing you understand yes what well, you should understand this thing this is teaching for us only he said i had a disease this is named murugi vyadhi murugi vyadhi means sometimes my head reels what for for in order to cheat it don't say anything your confidential thing to others no that's inner thing you understand this mahapurush teaching mm mm how he was mm -hmm. such a great devout developed love towards krishna then such great elevated devotee but outwardly he was a christian and he didn't disclose it you understand yes this is most important thing mm -hmm. keep it in sight don't disclose it mm -hmm. this is the teaching from this mahaprabhu's leela you understand mm. and we say this thing mahaprabhu gave prem nobody gave prem namo mahapadanya krishna premo pradayate krishnay krishna chaitanya namne gauru tu ishi namo isn't it silo rupa goswami for this prana mantra to so, chaitra mahaprabhu most of you inefficient incarnation who gave krishna prayer nobody gives krishna himself doesn't give hmm. so unless one comes into the fold of mahaprabhu he cannot get prayer you understand you cannot get prayer Lord Ram is Marjada Purushottama, isn't it? Who so, very strictly follows the Vedic etiquette, observes, never violates, never violates. Do you understand? Very strict. Mm, but those who are Ram bhaktas, that means uh, devotees of Lord Ram. Hmm. They very strictly observe this thing. You want to sleep? We are leaning against, ah, uh -huh. the wall and uh, sleeping. Ah, uh -huh. you are tired. Ah, uh -huh. you are very tired. You are no sleep. Last night. Ah, uh, waking up, doing some, are engaged in some work. Hmm, uh, are you very engaged in drying up Ganges all night? <laughs> so, so you are no sleep. No, you are sleeping. <laughs> Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So these people, mm -hmm, how can they get prem unless they come to the fold of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Man Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Do you understand? So when Sri Man Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and was distributing this uh, prem indiscriminately, do you understand? Indiscriminately. So all came. Brahma came, Shivji came, Narad came, ah, huh? all came. Now it's opportunity now. Otherwise, we cannot get it. Hmm. And uh, this uh, Anumanji is a great devotee. Hmm. Of Lord Ram, do you understand? Get sad also, Anumanji. Hmm. He is still now. Anuman is he is still now. Do you understand? Yes. Have you seen him? <laughs> Back friendship with him. Nobody with Anuman ji. 
<laughs> jumping over the seas, you understand, the one leap jumped. You understand? Mm. But when Mahaprabhu came, so Sanumanji came as Murari Gupta. You understand? Murari Gupta is Hanumanji, Lord Ram's servant, mm-hmm. Das, mm-hmm. a great devotee of Lord Ram. Mm. Ah, and he's a very dear devotee of Lord Chaitanya also. So, you understand? Once Mahaprabhu, once Mahaprabhu told Murari Gupta, mm, to be devotee of Lord Krishna. You understand? Become the devotee of Lord Krishna. Mm-hmm. Mahaprabhu said, Mahaprabhu just uh, allured him. You understand? Medicine, give some allurement. Parama Madhura Gupta Brajendra Kumar Swam Bhagavan Krishna Sarvansi Sarvasra Vishuddha Nirmala Premo Sarvara Samoy. Hmm? Mahaprabhu said, O Gupta, become devotee of Lord Krishna. Why are you the devotee of Lord Raha? Uh-huh. Krishna is Swam Bhagavan. Hmm? Lord Ram is a uh, and a plenary portion, you understand? And is full of is such is Ananda more is Krishna. Anadi Radhi Govinda. Mm-hmm. Sarva Karana Karana Isara Padma Krishna Sajidananda because such is Ananda. Sanamaya Chinamaya Ananda more. Mm-hmm. He is filled with all melods completely. Mm-hmm. Prema or some more. You understand? Rasa Pradhartha, he gives mellow, he is the source of all mellows, is Krishna. Do you understand? Sakala Sadguna Vrinda Ratna Ratna Karo, Vidagdha Chatura Dhira Rasika Sekara, Madhura Charitra Krishnir Madhura Vidas, Chaturja Vidyagdha Kari Jarat Nilaras, Sai Krishna Bhaja Tumi Hao Krishna Sraya, Krishna Bina Anya Upasana Mane Nai Hoi. Do you understand? Nice. Mahaprabhu said that thing. The pastimes of Krishna are so nectarian, so sweet. Do you understand? Mm. And he is the ocean of all transcendent qualities. He has sixty-four, he has sixty-four qualities. Nobody has. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. He is uh, very intelligent, sober, very wise, and uh, what to say, mm, he is the best of all. What to say in English, I can't express. Rasika? What do you say in English? Rasika Shekhar? Yeah. Enjoy yeah, enjoy the full melods. Hmm. Hmm. Say Krishna bhaja tumi, how Krishna is why? You become devotee of Krishna and do Krishna bhaja. You understand? Take shelter of Krishna. Hmm. Krishna bina ne upasana mone nahi hoi. You understand? The Krishna upasana is the only upasana, only bhaja. You understand? Mahaprabhu said that like this. Mm. Hearing Mahaprabhu, Murari Yukta, mm, thought of mm, for some time what to do. Mm. Uh, at the time being, there is some hesitation in his mind. So he had strong faith in Mahaprabhu. He had some strong faith in Mahaprabhu, and then he said, Ami tomar kinkor, tomar agyankari, ami nahi sotam tar. He said, I am your servant, O Lord. Srimad Mahaprabhu, I am your servant. Whatever you say, I must do. You understand? I must do. Mm. Then Murari Gupta went to his residence, 
At the night, he thought of very deeply, how can I give up Ramu Pasana? You understand? Because he's a very great dear devotee hmm? of Lord Ram. Hmm? So how can I give up Ramu Pasana? You understand? Very deeply he thought of. Hmm? He couldn't sleep all night. Spent sleepless night. Whole night he couldn't sleep. And he cried and cried and cried. Mm. And uh, thought of, uh, I must finish my life because I couldn't keep up the order of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. She asked me to become devotee of Lord Krishna and do Krishna person. Mm. But I couldn't give up Lord Ram. You understand? He was thinking, Kemane Charibo Rogunathir Soron, Aji Ratri Prabhu Moro Korahu Moro. You understand? He is such a great devotee of Lord Ram. He is Hanuman. You understand? He is Hanuman. Uh, how can I give up Ram Bhajan and do Krishna Bhajan? It's better to die. Praying to Lord, Oh Lord, please bring death to me during this night. Let me die. Let me die. Ehi mata sarva ratri kore no krondon mani soyasti nahi ratri koilo jagaron. Whole night he cried, he cried, he cried. He had no sleep at all. Do you understand? Then when it was morning, Mm. She got up mm, and every day he was doing Ram Bhajan. Now I'm thinking of Mahaprabhu has told to do Krishna Bhajan, but he couldn't do now. Mm. And he was in a, how to say, fix. He was in a fix what to do. Give up Ram and uh, do Krishna Bhajan. Couldn't do this thing. So he thought up it better to die. Mm. Then he went to Mahaprabhu and said, Raghunathir Pai Mui Bechya Sumatha Karite Napare Matha Mone Pai Byatha Sri Raghunath Soron Chadan Najai Tobakya Bhongoho Kikoro Pai Tati Mure Ikrupa Korodoya Moi Tomara agi mrutu hau jau ko sunsoi. He said like this. Mm. He said, I have already <laughs> dedicated myself at the lotus feet of Raghunath, Lord Ram. Do mm. you understand? I cannot get out of him. Quite impossible on my part. Do you understand? Mm. At the same time, I cannot keep up your words. You told me to do Krishna Bhajan, but I cannot keep up your words. So, so I commit an offense also no? at your feet, because I cannot keep up your words, obey your order. Mm. Please, our mercy. And me, that let me die before you. Do you understand? He said like that. Mm. At this, Mahaprabhu was very pleased. Do you understand? Very pleased. And Mahaprabhu praised him a lot. Sadhu sadhu gupta tomar sudra bhajan. Amar bhajane ho tomar natoli lamon. Eimata sevakir priti chahi prabhu pai. Prabhu chadai leho pado chadano na jai. Sei bhakta dhanyo je na chadai prabhu charan. Sei prabhu dhanyo je na chadai nijo jan. Durda ibe sevaka jadi jai anyasthane sei thakur dhanyo se tare chule dhariyane. Do you understand? Mahaprabhu said, sadhu sadhu gupta. Tomar sudhura bhajan. Mahaprabhu praised him. Your bhajan is very strong bhajan. You understand? All glory to you. 
আমার বচন হল তোমার নট লস দো আই সে স্টিল ইউ আর প্রভু ছাড়াইলে হো পদ ছাড়ানো না যায় দো মাস্টার ওয়ান্স ইন টু গেট আউট স্টিল হি ডজেন্ট গেট আউট সেই ভক্ত ধন্য যে না ছাড়ে প্রভুর চরণ সেই প্রভু ধন্য যে না ছাড়ে নিজ জন সেই প্রভু ধন্য যে না ছাড়ে নিজ জন and that master is mm, the real master who never leaves his own man you understand his servant you understand mm. durdaive sevak jodi jay anya sthan sei thakur dhanyo se tare chule dhori aan mm. unfortunately if the servant goes to some other person other place eh? so sai thakur dhanyo sitar chule dhori ane and that master what is the duty of that master should to catch hold of his sikha and drag him you understand mahaprabhu hmm, was testing you understand mahaprabhu was testing the upasana nishtha of murari gutta you understand mahaprabhu was testing yeah. and now murari gupta came out successful in the test you understand came out successful in the test mm. mahaprabhu said mm. sakhyat hanumat mahaprabhu said sakhyat hanuman tumi shri ram ki karo tumi keno chhadibe tai charan komor sei murari gupta i mor pran som ইহার দৈন্য শুনি মোর ফাটই জীবন মহাপুরুষ ইউ আর হনুমান সাক্ষাৎ হনুমান মুরারি গুপ্ত ইউ আর সাক্ষাৎ হনুমান ইউ আর রাম কিংকর ইউ আর সার্ভেন্ট রাম হাউ ওয়াই শুড উই গিভ আপ হিজ লট স্পিড ওয়াইস্ট্যান্ড মহাপুরুষ সেট দ্যাট মুরারি গুপ্ত ইজ ভেরি ডিয়ার টু মি ইজ ভেরি ডিয়ার টু মি And Mahaprabhu showed Sadabhuj, 604, how is Lord Ram and Krishna now Sanyasi? He is Ram himself. Do you understand? So Murari Gupta has come to him. Do you understand? But you will also find Mahaprabhu many places, in many places, while he was traveling, in southern india mm, he has converted many ram bhaktas into krishna bhakta also mm? oh, what is it during krishna lila who was Anuman, yeah? Yeah. Who was in the Anuman Krishna first and Navan? Anuman is always Hanuman. Hanuman sat on the chariot, flag in Kuru Khetra, battlefield and chariot. Arjuna, you see, Hanuman was there. Hanuman is there. Still Hanuman is now. Now. Mm-hmm. When I was in Navan, I lost you. I was told by the Kali to pray to Hanuman. It's a peaceful moment. হনুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুমানুম
in the spiritual world, you understand? And, and Lord Ram, and did his pastimes here in Tritajuga, and went back to his abode in spiritual kingdom, he took everybody from Ajodhya with him, but Hanuman. Do you understand? He left Hanuman here. He didn't take Hanuman with him. Hanuman is so dear devotee, such a great devotee. Do you understand? Of Lord Ram and uh, servant, servitor, Dasya Bhakti. Do you understand? Why he left Hanuman here? He didn't take with him. So dear devotee. Why? Huh? Yes, to teach Dasya Bhakti. What is really a Das? Do you understand? Do you understand? Therefore he left Hanuman here. Teach Dasya Bhakti. Do you understand? Many times we say that story, do you understand? How is only devoted to a Ram? Hmm. Sinathe Janaki Nathe Abhedo Paramatmani Mama Jivana Sarvaswaram or Ajiva Lojana. Hanuman says, I know it, he is a great sadhu, he knows Tattva. You understand? Sinathe Janaki Nathe Abhedo. There is no difference between Sinatha and Janaki Natha. Janaki Natha, husband of Janaki, means Sita, Lord Ram, and Sinatha. Husband of Lakshmi Devi is a, we say Lakshmi Satasasa Samrama, say Brahmana, Krishna say, you understand? Mm. Govindanga Adi Purusam Tamam Majami, hundreds and hundreds of Lakshmis are serving him, isn't it? So Srinatha is here Krishna. There is no difference between Lord Ram and Krishna, you understand? But Mama Jivana Sarvasa Rama Raji Olochana. But uh, my heart and soul is Rama Raji Olochana, not Krishna. You understand? I know it. There is no difference. Still, this is, I am attracted to Lord Ram. You understand? When he just opened his heart and saw how there is only Sita and Ram there in his heart, nobody else. So devoted. This is the unallowed devotion, one-pointed, one-pointed, not multi-pointed. This is unallowed devotion, ananya bhakti. Do you understand? This is the example of unallowed devotion, ananya bhakti. Do you understand? Abhivicharini bhakti, different names. Ananya bhakti or abhivicharini bhakti. Unallowed devotion. Do you understand? This is the example. Mm. And the Murari Gupta showed the example of Murari Gupta is Hanuman. And Mahaprabhu was testing him. Mahaprabhu was testing him. And he came out successful in that test. Yes? So, this is two questions. Murari Gupta never changed um, his... He never became Krishna Bhakti state. No. As, as Hanuman. Yeah. But then in the beginning of the story, you were saying how different personalities appeared to take part in Chaitanya's Leela, to get ele to get the highest um, praying. Praying. Yeah. But to get praying. Ram is Marjada Purusottam. There's no question of praying at all. Do you understand that Mahaprabhu is giving? Do you understand? There is praying, there is love, but the highest love is not there. Do you understand? Mahaprabhu is giving. That uh, Aradhya Bhagavan Brajesatanaya Tadham Vrindavanu Ramya Kachi Dupasana Brajabadu Bargina Jakar Jida is Gopi Prem or Radha Prem. Do you understand the question? Mahaprabhu giving that prem. Uh, but uh, Hanuman had no such prem. It's uh, quite absent in Ram. Do you understand? But Ram is Marjada Purusottama. Do you understand? <coughs> but it strictly follows. But he can take it, you understand? He refused. Lord Ram refused to accept the 
मुनिस इन दंड कारण्य when they requested him to accept them as their wives you understand lord ram refused no that cannot be this in this incarnation i have this bow ekapatri prato one wife i cannot accept more than one wife you understand and if you do so accept me you will all be Born to us is by the course of Sita Devi. Sita Devi will curse you. Do you understand? Wait for the next incarnation. <laughs> Do you understand? This Marjada Purushottama. Hmm. Follow me, questioners. So Murari Gupta did not appear to get the highest. He appeared, like you said, just to teach an example of un <clears throat> unloyal devotion. That was his main purpose, not, not, to, not to get the highest, you know. So in Chaitanya Lila, he came to get it. Yeah. That prayer, Mahaprabhu was distributing. He, yes, but at the same time he got it. <laughs> Do you understand? Like separating the two personalities. So no, most, you can't conceive of it. It's in God's definition. Yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes, you cannot. Your mental mind, how can conceive of it? You cannot conceive of it. It is inconceivable thing. So all came when Mahaprabhu came. It was pretty distributing. Do you understand? Otherwise they would, have, would not have gotten it. Hmm. And Mahaprabhu has also so sort of huja form. So many Ram Bhaktas came, you understand? Hmm? And also you'll find from Chaitanya Chaitanya Amrita that how many Ram Bhaktas are also converted as Krishna Bhaktas. While he was preaching in South India, traveling South India and preaching, you understand? Yes, you'll find that thing also there. Hmm. And philosophically, there is no difference between Rama and Krishna. What difference is there? Huh? Is there any difference? Huh? Philosophically, is there any difference between Rama and Krishna? No difference at all. Do you understand? The form of which Krishna has many forms. Avatara, Hiya, Sankhya, Hare, Sattva, Nidhi, Dvija. Jatha, Vidasin, Kulya, Sarasasu, Sasrasa. Isn't it? And in Brahma Sangita also it is said, Diparchi, Reva, Mahupatya. Dipayate vibhruta hetu samana dharma. Jastu gveva vishnuta ya vibhati govindam adi purusam tamam bhajami. The example of lamp is given. One original lamp is there and many lamps are coming out from it and giving the same light. There is no difference, isn't it? This is our philosophy. Accordingly we have no difference. Avatar and Avatari. Krishna is the original lamp, isn't it? Muladipa Eko. One lamp is original. He is Krishna. And Avataras, Asankhya, innumerable incarnations are there. Isn't it? Innumerable incarnations. And Krishna is the source of all incarnations. Avatari. Krishna is Avatari. He is the source of all incarnations. And Ramadi Murti Sukala Niemanati Stena Navatarunga Kuru Bhuni Sukintu Krishna Sum Sum of the Parampumanjo Gubin Adi Pursum Tamumazami. Brahma Sumita says Ramon Rushinga Vamano Kola portion of the portion, plenary portion of the portion is Kola. Do you understand? Alabataras. Isn't it? Still they are equal, all equal. They are giving equal light. 
But one is original land. This is the only difference, nothing else. So, the form to which you are most attracted, that is the question. Do you understand? The, those who are Ram Bhaktas, they are attracted to the form of Ram. Those who are the nursing of Bhaktas, like Prahlad, mm -hmm. they are attracted to the form of Lord nursing. You understand? Those are Krishna Bhaktas, they are attracted to the form of Krishna. You understand? Mm -hmm. And Hanuman is the example, and he knows Tattva, Srinathya Jana Kinathya Abhita Paramatmani, Mama Jivana Sarvasara Amara I know this thing. Srinathya and Jana Kinathya, there is no difference. But my heart and soul is Ram Raji Valochana. Left aside Ram, you understand? He has developed a knowledge, devotion to Lord Ram. That form of the Lord the question of harm. Yesterday, as I was telling, gopis are always hmm, hankering after. Look, seeing the beautiful form of Krishna, is all Krishna. Even out of fun when Krishna showed his Narayana form, they are not attracted. You understand? Krishna showed the Narayana form, but they are, oh, no, no, don't know, it's not. It's Krishna. <laughs> Do you understand me? Yeah? In the uh, woman actually we went to the uh, Brahm temple, and there was the Krishna yeah, yeah. Uh, temple and so on. There's a five headed Hanuman. Five headed Hanuman? I don't know. Only that five headed Hanuman. It was a deity with five heads. One head was Hanuman, one head was uh, Vishwingadev. What's what? One head was. Narsimha? Yeah. <laughs> The animal incarnations of the Lord were five heads. It was Garuda. Well, who told you like that? Garuda. Garuda. No, sorry, my name was Garuda. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, five-headed Hanuman. <laughs> How is it Hanuman five-headed? I don't know. That's the last, last day that we asked the, uh, the temple yeah. staff, they said this is five-headed Hanuman. What did they say? It's just that, five-headed Hanuman. They said, like that? Yes, Where it is mentioned, you asked it. Is there a mention in Ramayana where the five headed Hanuman is there? <laughs> Someone else said it was um, Lord Shiva and uh, Panchamukhi. Shiva, Shiva, yes. Shiva Panchamukhi. Shiva has five faces, yes. Uh, Hanuman, oh, Hanuman. Something, circulation, I don't know. Give it up. <laughs> You understand? Mm. One story there. Is, uh, this uh, Tulsidas is also a great devotee of Ram. Isn't it? Tulsidas. Goswami Tulsidas, great devotee of Ram. Mm. Like Hanuman, he, he only wants wants to see the beautiful form of Lord Ram. He doesn't want to see the form of Krishna. So once he went to a Krishna temple, you understand, and prayed to the deity, please give up your flute and hold up. Bow and arrow, show me your Lord, form of Lord Ram, then I will bow down. <laughs> And did he immediately changed. He saw the beautiful Lord Ram, then he put down. Yes, that is that. You understand? <laughs> and that story also is there in Brata Bhagavata Amrita. And Maharaj is saying every day stories from Brata Bhagavata Amrita. One day he will tell you, I told sometime. Uh, how he sent Garuda to call Hanuman. From Dwaraka he sent Garuda to call Hanuman. Go and call Hanuman. Uh, so Hanuman went uh, to Garuda. I am saying Garuda went to Hanuman. 
He told him that Lord Krishna is calling you at Dwarka. Hanuman was busy in chanting Ram, 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 Ram. Ram Bhajan chanting Ram Nam. He didn't pay any heed. Repeated two, three times. Lord said, I have come from Dwarka. Lord Krishna has sent me. He is calling you. Please, didn't listen. Didn't listen. At last, with his tail, he gave a great loss, a big loss. You understand? And Garuda flew off and fell down in Dwarka, in front of Krishna. <laughs> Do you understand? Didn't listen. Then Krishna could understand what happened. Mm. <laughs> Garuda was morous. Then Lord Krishna said, Why didn't you tell Lord Ram was calling? Go again. Tell him that Lord Ram was calling. <coughs> you understand? So again Garuda went there and told Hanuman, you know, Lord Ram is calling you. Please come. Oh, mine. Your master is calling. All right. I'll go immediately. Then Garuda said, Please. Sit on my shoulder, I'll find it. In a moment, no, you go ahead, I am going. <laughs> I won't sit on your shoulders. You understand? So Gordo went back. So before reaching there, you understand? Mm. Hanuman had already reached there. You understand? Hanuman had already reached there. Ah. <laughs> and Gordo raised after that. And Garuda saw that Krishna had assumed the form of Lord Ram and Balaram had assumed the form of Lord I mean, Lakhona and Rukmini Devi has assumed the form of Sita Devi. So Ram, Lakhona, Sita, they are standing and with folded hands, Hanuman was sitting there. And Garuda saw this. So, the dear devotee wants to see this form of mind. So, he saw this thing. What harm is that? Do you understand? Because he is attracted to this form. Eh? So, Krishna showed him the form of Lord Ram. Very different. I do, but. Stage, stage, we don't know exactly which form we can expect. Our Mahaprabhu's teaching is this. Aradhya Bhagavan Raji Sapamaya. This is our form. All beautiful form of Krishna. Krishna. You understand? Are you not attracted towards Krishna? Yes. But it's obviously You are in dilemma? <laughs> Many deities are there, but to whom you are attracted? That's a question. <laughs> to whom you are to whom you are attracted the most? Who attracts your heart? Tell me. Yes. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes. That's Mahaprabhu's teaching. Mm. In the case of uh, some of the Swamis, I think it is Rupa Goswami, who is a personal servant of Radharani. Rupa Mandari, huh? Yes. So, in that instance, is it that he is more attracted to serving Radharani, or does he serve Krishna through Radharani? Yeah. Krishna through Radharani. You can directly approach Krishna without the mercy of Radharani. Do you understand? Yes. Radhar Krishna, completely sent person. Do you understand? Radhar Krishna. Govinda Nundini, Govinda Nundini Radha, Govinda Sarvasya, Sarva Kanta Siravani. Uh -huh. If you can't get the mercy of Radhani, you can't approach Krishna. No, not possible at all. Therefore, 
ਅਨੁਚਾਂਟ ਹਰੇ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨ ਫਸਟ ਵੀ ਬੈਗ ਓ ਹਰੇ ਓ ਰਾਧਾ ਰਾਣੀ ਫਸਟ ਵੀ ਬੈਗ ਮਰਸੀ ਆ ਰਾਧਾ ਰਾਣੀ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਦੇਨ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨ ਹਰੇ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਵਿਦਾਊਟ ਫਰਮਰਸੀ ਹਾਊ ਕੈਨ ਆ ਪ੍ਰਸ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨ ਇੰਪੋਸੀਬਲ ਯੈਸ Hmm. is it necessary that a disciple will be attracted to the deity or the form of the lord which his speech must be attracted to so is the case hmm no no hmm he must accept such a spiritual master you understand if our krishna bhakta then like such such a krishna bhakta as guru is quite nice mm mm-hmm. also in chaitanya or ram bhakta are also there murari gupta is there also you understand and chaitanya mahaprabhu so sarvabhuj roop he is ram he is krishna at the same time sanyasina understand so ram bhakta may also come no harm and in chaitanya lila you will find many ram bhakta dada hanuman is there as murari gupta what harm is there and mahaprabhu teaching there all right form to whom you are attracted all right do that bhajan this from this incident that teaching is there no harm and at the same time you will get some additional benefit you will get prem the mahaprabhu is giving you understand so we say though there are in this in kali yuga four sampradayas sri brahma rudra sanaka hmm vaisnava kiti pavana satvaraste kalu bhavya utkali purushottama this is most important thing hmm then sa sri sampraday is ramanuj sampraday you understand ram anuj is lakshmana younger brother of lord ram is ram anuj you understand lakshmana is lakshmana you read the life history of ram anuj acharya is lakshmana you understand is lakshmana you understand ha so followers of ramanuj sampraday possible ram samor shiv lakshmi narayan samor shiv sita ram gansha gansha ase bona fight sampraday also ramana sampraday sri sampraday gansha but satvaraste sri brahma rudra sanaka hmm brahma sampraday ar brahma madhya sampraday and rudra sampraday vishnu swami acharya and sanaka sampraday nimbarka acharya uh four sampraday still this four will be united chataraste kalu bhavya utkale purushottama and united philosophies that means philosophies of the four acharyas madha acharyas philosophy ramanuja acharyas philosophy nimbarka acharyas philosophy vishnu swami philosophy and so there is some little little difference between dvaita and advaita bada you understand so that will be united hmm in jagannath puri dhan utkal purushottam khetra and that united philosophy union combined philosophy is achintya vedavedha tattva that mahaprabhu did do you understand and mahaprabhu after taking up sanyas went to purushottam khetra met sarvam vadacharya and we heard vedanta sutra hmm? explanation of vedanta sutra from him for seven days continuously at that time mahaprabhu spoke about this philosophy of chinta vedanta sutra understand that is the combination of this four philosophies understand now that philosophy is now spreading throughout the world and that was prophecy given in 5000 years ago 
You understand? That prophecy was given 5,000 years ago. Now it is true. It's happening now. So all of them should come to this. To Mahaprabhu's teaching, the fold of Mahaprabhu. So, this is the latest flow. When somebody say flow, hmm? Prabhaha, flow. This flow is there. The flow of Pachinta Veda Veda spreading throughout the world now. They all should come to Mahaprabhu's fold. You may be a follower of Ramanuja Acharya or Madhva Acharya or Nimbarko or Vishnu Swami. Do you understand? Whatever it may be, these are four bona fide Acharyas also. Bona fide Sampradayas, according to Shastra in Kali Jiva, others are not bona fide. Whatever it may be, but come to the fold of Mahaprabhu. Then it will be complete. Do you understand? Otherwise, you will remain incomplete. Mahaprabhu gives the highest philosophy, the Achinta Vedaveda Tattva, with the combination of these four philosophies. Vishishta Dvaita 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 Suddha Dvaita, like this. Kevala hmm? Dvaita, like this. Four philosophies. The combination of four philosophies is Achinta Vedaveda Tattva. And that is the latest one. So, you may be follower of one of these four Acharyas, but if you want to come to the fold of Mahaprabhu, then your, you cannot achieve the highest perfection. In other words, you may say like that. Do you understand? Bina Gaura Priya Pada Siva Vedadi Dusprapya Padum Vidanti Prabhadananda Saraswati Pada says in Sayyidin Sandramata. Bina Gaura Priya Pada Siva Vedadi Dusprapya Padum Vidanti Without <coughs> the Pada Siva of Gaura Priya Jana They are devotee of Lord Gauranga Do you understand? Without serving the lotus feet of the dear devotee of Lord Gauranga you cannot get highest perfection, which is also cannot be attainable by mere Vedic study. Do you understand? One may be very proficient in Vedas or Vedic knowledge of any query. Still, he cannot attain, achieve highest perfection, supreme perfection, without the mercy of Gauravriyasana. You understand? Gauranga gave the highest thing. Mm. So, now we are calling each one, one and all, come to the fold of Mahaprabhu and make your life successful, achieve highest perfection, supreme perfection in your life. You understand? Otherwise, incomplete. It is incomplete. You understand? This is our philosophy. And Mahaprabhu has showed that thing in his past times. Mahaprabhu has defeated Tattvabadis, defeated Baudhas, Buddhis, you understand? And defeated many bogus philosophies, you understand? Mahabadis, Sangrajarya, Mahabad philosophy, you understand? Established pure Bhakti Siddhanta. You understand? And so merciful, you give prayim in discriminatory to one and all. In my body is Krishna Paradhi, great offenders, the lotus feet of Krishna in the my body, still they begin boisterous by getting causeless mercy of Srimad Mahaprabhu, what to speak of others. Hmm? You understand? Even deers, the animals also, lions, tigers, he all chant Hare Krishna danced. You understand? Chanted Hare Krishna danced. Mahaprabhu is so merciful. So call, call, come, come. To the fold of Mahaprabhu. 
Do you understand? This is our, this is Mahaprabhu's mercy. And that those who are followers of Srimad Mahaprabhu, they are devotees of Srimad Mahaprabhu, they do like that. They are so merciful, very, very merciful. Vaisnava is Paisek. Krupa Sindhubya Vasya, Mancha Kalpaturi Vasya, Krupa Sindhubya Vasya, Patitanam Pavanibhyo Vaisnavibhyo Naman Naman. Vaisnava is Krupa Sindhu, Vasana Parsi. Is Vaisnava. Is Vasana Parsi. Huh? You understand? Is Vaisnav, is Vasanat Marsi, Kazles Marsi, Savas Kazles Marsi, especially Gaurabhaktas, the devotees of Gauranga. You understand? Very, very merciful. You understand? Yeah. Thank you, Hare Krishna.